Hello friends. Are governments, institutions and media telling us the truth? Aren't there insufficiently informative graphs the reason why we are economically blind? The reason why the 50-year decline of the economies of EU countries is not yet publicly discussed. Using the example of real GDP growth in Finland, today we will compare how official institutions inform us about the state of the economy. We will assess whether official graphs sufficiently warn us about the threats we will face. The graphs from the IMF and the Finnish government are identical regarding data. They show the same declines in the years 1991 to 1993 and also in 2009. The Czechway graph clearly shows the 50-year decline of the Finnish economy. It is immediately clear from it that, except for the first decade, each subsequent decade is worse than the previous one. Let's break it down. So, where is the truth? All graphs inform us about the real GDP of Finland. All graphs have the same sources. Why do the results look so different? So what is the real growth of the Finnish economy? We don't not have a computer in our heads to be able to compare individual figures from the government graph. Although the graph shows a decline, the government graph certainly does not show the threat that EU countries face. Both graphs, the government graph and the check way graph, use the same calculation of the average GDP growth rate. This is the geometric mean for the given period. The calculations differ only in that in the government graph, each bar represents one year, while in the check way graph, one bar represents a period of 10 years, or one decade. How did we arrive at the 50-year decline? If we calculate the geometric mean for the years 1980 to 1989, we find that in the 1980s, the Finnish economy grew by an average of 3.63%. We calculate the growth rates for the remaining decades in the same way, including the average for the 1960s and 1970s and also the average for the current third decade. At first glance, we can see what a decade-by-decade -decade comparison will do. The Czech way graph shows how bad Finland's economy is and that the decline has been going on for more than 50 years. If you let the video play to the end, you will be able to help yourself first. Maybe YouTube will pay us one day and we will be able to finance the fight against governments and the European Commission. So, where is the truth? Is the International Monetary Fund lying to us? Are governments lying to us? Compare the graphs of the four largest EU economies. Did you know that the Germans, Spaniards, Italians, and French and most of the other EU countries are doing so badly? Official institutions are not outright lying to us, but their graphs hide the most essential truth from us. And that is where we see the problem fellow Chechwayers, because everyone uses these graphs. Analysts, politicians and the media. Political parties draft their programs based on these graphs. Dr. Kabisa defended the Czech way graphs in his dissertation, he tried to arrange a meeting with the chief analyst of the Czech government. This high-ranking official refused the meeting, saying that we were no names, that they had their own analysis. It is not a lie if even prestigious media outlets, based on a three-month or annual economic growth graph, praise a country that has long-term economic problems. Judge for yourself, Sesnam Spravi wrote. Spain has overcome the crisis best of the EU, helped by inflation. The Times wrote, the tourism boom has helped Spain to grow faster than its neighbors. Spanish weekly Euro Weekly, we are heading for the biggest economic boom in centuries and their standard, the Spanish economy is outperforming the rest of the EU. This is how these media outlets assessed the growth of the Spanish economy based on the results for the third quarter of 2024. The graph of real GDP growth over the five years of the pandemic and the war in Ukraine proves that the article in the Daily Sesnam Spravi, which states that Spain overcame the crisis the best from the EU, is completely false. The quote from the Times that Spain grew faster than its neighbors is, in our opinion, completely misleading because assessing the trend of the development of the economy of a given country from a three-month or annual period is completely irrelevant. Portugal and Andorra, two of Spain's three neighbors, grew faster, so the Times was wrong. Until we admit the mistake, we cannot begin to work on eliminating it.
Thanks to the lackluster current charts, no one knows about the 50-year decline in economic growth in most EU countries. The media does not write about it, preferring to present charts for individual quarters or years, which give the impression that it is a natural economic cycle, alternating growth with decline. However, each economic cycle's growth is worse than that of the previous one. The result is visible in Kubis's comparison of decades, which shows that most EU countries achieve a lower growth rate in each subsequent decade than in the previous one. And how to truthfully and concisely report on the development of Spain in the next period. This is what the graph looks like at the end of the second decade, in 2019. We will copy the annual GDP growth rates from the database of the International Monetary Fund or the World Bank and, since negative numbers cannot be squared, we will recalculate the GDP growth coefficient. We will just copy the year 2020. The result is so bad due to the pandemic that the graph does not even fit in the frame. For 2021, we will calculate the geometric mean for the years 2020 and 2021. This way, we can plot a new average value on the graph each year and compare it with the long-term trend. Media articles made the Spanish economy a champion, while the reality is sad. Spain achieved only the same poor result as in the second decade, and massive indebtedness during the Covid era helped it significantly. Most EU countries are similarly in a bad situation, but politicians mistakenly believe that this is a natural recession of the business cycle, caused by the pandemic and the war in Ukraine. However, business cycles have been different for 50 years each subsequent growth is lower than the previous one. This phenomenon is not yet known in economic theory. In the next video, you will see how the US government helped create game-changing technology. Yes, thanks to the government's active approach, American companies are among the richest companies in the world and create thousands of new opportunities. Let's demand that the European Commission do the same. Let the EU be as active in the birth of new game-changing technologies as the US government was. International Monetary Fund, innovate your graphs, let them show the reality that people feel. Media, let's not infer economic trends from results in three months or one year. Let's not praise the economies of states if they achieve 1% growth for 15 years. Let's not be afraid to say that the trend is very bad, that we need to do things differently in the EU. And how to do things differently? Let's stop lying to ourselves. Madam President, the artificial intelligence race is not starting now. We are the ones who have woken up now and realized that China and America are running away from us. For example, the Optimus project has been running for three years, and we haven't even really started with humanoids yet. Madam President, we need the European Commission to be active and work faster. It is not enough to just spend EU citizens' money. The European Commission should also contribute to how it is earned. We first contacted your office in 2020, and your officials did not even respond to our letters. We have three game-changing technologies ready that can change the lives of all Europeans. Eleven universities from the EU wanted to cooperate with us on the Czech Way project. European Commission, take the leading role in the Czech Way project. We will only be able to convince governments and the European Commission to change their approach if there are many of us. The YouTube algorithm decides how many people will see this video. Every new series is hidden away deep down and people don't see it. By searching for Czech Way on YouTube or Google, the algorithm evaluates it and Czech Way moves it higher and offers it to viewers. You will help the project a lot if you decide to like or forward the video and share it with your friends. Dear friends, some of the videos are on the Hero Hero platform. If you decide to help us stop the decline of EU states, please purchase this channel for 5 euros per month. Yes, you will see more videos, but that is not the main thing. We will fight for you with governments for the price of one coffee. For the collected money, we can translate videos into German, French, and other languages. We can pay more people and speed up the entire Czech Way project. Thank you for any help. Next time you'll see how the US government helped create game-changing technology.